How's everybody doing? This is Ruben once again with Jalosophy. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked any of my past videos, please subscribe to the channel, like or comment on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. So make sure to visit our Facebook, our blog, our Instagram, our Twitter. We add great and powerful information there on a regular basis. So make sure you check that out. Today I want to talk about, you know, we talk a lot about a lot of information. We talk a lot of data. A lot of good information, a lot of good data. Data that is meant for you to improve yourself. Data that is meant for you to feel empowered. Data that uh, will allow you to, if you use it correctly, will allow you to break those blockages from your life. For you to live happy, for you to be successful. And successful really is just being happy. Just being happy. That's And that's the main goal. Feeling good. We, we teach, we teach that you really have to sort of ingrain this information within you. You have to make this information a part of you, live this information, be this information, not just have it in your head as knowledge. And <clears throat> to really learn this information. And, and have it ingrained within you, ingrained into your DNA, so you just do it. And that's the whole point, doing it, just doing it, not even thinking about it. One of the great ways is by space repetition, as I have talked about, listening to this information over and over and over and over again, meditating on this information over and over and over and over again. That's how we learn anything and everything, right? You learn how to eat, how to brush your teeth, how to tie your shoe, we learn how to walk, how to, you know, like I mentioned, talk, uh, drive, whatever. Space repetition, doing it over and over and over again. But there's a the best there's the best way to learn it. And what is the best way to learn this information or any information? And that's by teaching it. By teaching it. When you teach it, you that's the best way to learn it because when you teach it you're not only sp you're, you're speaking it and you're speaking it and, and you're thinking about it the neural pathways that are going on in your brain are are you know are being formed in gigantic ways so many neural pathways are being formed in your brain because when you got to think about it and then you know you're building that neural pathway then you you speak it you're building that neural pathway um you know, you're explaining and you're getting deeper, sort of like you're traveling through your neural pathways from the ones you've learned and the ones you're creating as well. Because I believe that when you speak, you also, you know, you have access to other data, other knowledge that you may not have at the moment. Have you ever just talk and like something came out and you're like, where did that come from? Like you said something so, you know, you maybe said something like, really funny or, or, or something real like knowledgeable or something you're like where did that come from i believe we have that access you know if you want to say you know you have that connection to god or you have the connection to the universe whatever i believe we have that access and you could you could say that so you're building all types of neural pathways because just your hand movements like i'm doing right now the hand movements the speaking the moving of my lips the the, the, the whole tongue the vibration coming out all the all these neural pathways are, are being formed in my brain on on a tremendous level, and that is why learn teaching it is the best way to learn this. And who do, you know you may ask who do I teach it to or who do you teach it to? Well, the beginning when you're learning this information, you can't really teach it to other people because you don't know this information. If you try to teach it with what you heard, you'll muddle up the water. So you have to really be proficient in this information before you teach it to others. But you can teach it to yourself. And once you teach it to yourself, you get more knowledgeable in it, more comfortable in it. You you know, you are more knowledgeable in it. And once you get to that moment, then you can teach it to others. Maybe give some I'll give a piece of advice. You know, maybe, you know, write a blog or something, do a video like I'm doing. Like I'm 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 getting tremendous benefit by speaking about these subjects speaking about this and 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 you know giving you the information 
so you can you know take it and 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 you know do the space repetition and not only that but teach it to yourself as well you know um you know we talk a lot about reading books you know listening to to audios or looking at videos over and over again as i mentioned space repetition space repetition doing it over and over again reading books listening to audios watching these videos you know do it over over again why is it so important i want to touch on that as well today why is that so important well the reason it's important is because you know you're a different person every time you listen every time you read every time you you, you watch these videos you're a different person from the last time that you read them, the last time that you saw them, the last time that you heard them. You're a different person because we're constantly changing. You have more data in your, you know, in your mind than the last time that you, you heard it or saw it. That is why you may, this happens very often. You watch a movie and then like time passes you watch it again and you're like i didn't see that in the first movie or i didn't get that i now get it i see what what it means what the plot is all about the reason is because you're a different person and, and, and you have more data and you can look at things different and every time you come back to it to that information you get new discoveries you get new cognitions and you get new realizations. So you're open to getting the new discoveries. You're open to getting the new realizations. You're open to, to getting the new cognitions in your mind. And that is why we preach so much on doing it, doing it over and over and over and over again. So you can get the benefit, the true benefit from this and make your life, you know, a success. Make your life better, better, you know. Uh, well, you know, I've talked about how I learned uh, about the four basics, right? The four basics, uh, basically almost of life, if you want to say them. Uh, these are very f important basics. These are the, this is your foundation when, you know, becoming better, when you're trying to improve yourself. These are the four basics. And the four basics are who do you listen to? You listen to yourself most importantly but you listen to people who have what you want you know you listen to people who have what you want most importantly yourself but you listen to people who have what you want to teachability index was your teacher you know your, your your willingness to learn was your willingness to accept change the teachability index you have to be behind both categories you have to be behind willingness to learn just like you have to be behind in willingness to accept change that's the teachability index uh, basic number three is the training balance scale. There's a scale in your mind. Where is that thought process, the thoughts, the emotions, the ideas, everything that goes on in the mind. Then you have the actual actions where you go and do things. You go and, and, and physically move, move and, and, and do things, get things ordered. We talk about how 90%, if not 99%, if not 100% of success, it's in the thought process and the way you think the way you feel that's the success and basic number four is the four steps of learning four steps of learning anything uh, which is unconscious and competent that's when you don't know what you don't know you don't know we're always at this level to consciously incompetent that's when you realize that you don't know you're like okay not nah, I didn't know I didn't know that conscious competence that's when you're doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and then it's unconsciously competent. That's when you're doing it without even thinking about it. You're tying your shoes without thinking about it. You're brushing your teeth without thinking about it. You're eating. You you don't think about it. like I'm, oh I got to chew, got to chew with my right then. No, you don't think about it. You just do it. That's where we want you to get with this information. But there's a fifth basic to this, and this is the most important basic, and that is mastering the first four basics. This is just another idea for you to get. And for you to realize that you can never stop learning the basics. You can never stop focusing on the basics, which is uh, who do you listen to, teachability index, training balance skills, uh, tra tra training balance scale, and the four steps of learning. That's just, you have to be focused. You have to be focused on it, on and on and on. Bottom line, you know, 
people people sometimes learn information you see this a lot in like jobs where people say they learn information or they learn how to do something and they once they feel comfortable in doing it they say i got it right i got it i got it if you say you got it you have a low teachability index you don't never got it you you never got it you never you never get it you're always getting it see that's the whole point of coming back to this information even in biblical scriptures it talks about how faith comes through hearing you know it doesn't come through hearing it once and then that's it it comes through hearing hearing over and over and over and over again and that's the whole point you have to you have to be teachable and, 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 and realize that you'll never get it. There's always more that you can learn. There's always more that you can, you know, you know, dig up. There's always something more. Always. You know. Um, and, and, you know, getting back to the whole thing. You know, as we talked about uh, Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale was a motivational speaker in the 60s 70s and to this day he's being heard he his his audios are are, are you know all over the world and he had great audios great motivational audios audios that inspired you audios that allowed you to realize that you need a goal in life that you can improve in life that you can become better one of those audios was the strangest secret it, it was called the strangest secret and uh and to this day i still listen to that audio and many people feel that that's like one of his best if not his best audio because in the strangest secret he talks about how he discovered a secret to life and he found it to be the strangest secret and that strangest secret was this you become what you think about most of the time you become what you think about most of the time. You become what you think about most of the time. That was the strangest secret to life. He, he, he discovered that whatever you think about most of the time, that is what you become. So if you're thinking negative most of the time, if you're thinking you're not worthy most of the time, if you keep thinking that you're in lack most of the time, that is what you're going to become. This goes back to even our 9 ago in the 60s talking about it. That's just the way life works. That's the way it, the universe works. Your thoughts, the way you think, that is what you become. That is why if you have a crappy attitude, and that is why positivity is preached so much in the motivational field, in the self-help field. And positivity is always like the, the thing that, and it's really not. It's just getting your attitude right, making you feel good, making you feel yourself think right and that will make you feel good once you do that you become what you think about most of the time you have positive thoughts you have belief in yourself you, you empower yourself this is why we say listen to these audios over and over again watch these videos over and over again read the blog over and over again go to the facebook page read the posts over and over again go to twitter read the little posts over and over again get yourself ingrained in this information Wake up, listen to this information. Throughout your day, while you're cooking, listen to this information. While you're taking a shower, listen to this information. While you're driving to work, listen to this information. On your lunch break, listen to this information. Before going to sleep, listen to this information. You have to ingrain yourself. If you're starting, if you're starting listening to positive information, if you're, if you're new to this, ingrain yourself in this information because your thought process, process are not... If you're not where you want to be in life, then your thoughts are like... In bad shape. It's like working out. Your 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 body is in bad shape. You have to go to the gym constantly. Is the consistency that is the key. You know another great man that wrote great information. That we talk a lot about here in philosophy is Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich. And in that book, he says something very profound that I really, really love and really like and has helped me. And that is, he says that whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, 
it can achieve. Whatever the mind of man can believe. Well, whatever the mind of man can conceive, excuse me, can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve. Bring, you bring that into your life. You want it. Whether it's a car, a job, a certain relationship, the way your relationship is, the way your marriage is, your job, great opportunity at your job, being better at your job, whatever it is, whatever the mind of man can conceive. And if you could bring yourself to believe, it can achieve. It can achieve. It can achieve. This is talked about throughout history and, and you know, Napoleon Hill is a great author. I would suggest you read his book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, but I would really suggest you read his book, The Law of Success and 16 Lessons. Think and Grow Rich became very popularized to this day, very, very well known. But that book came from the Law of Success and 16 Lessons. It's just, a, it's just that the Law of 16 Lessons is, is a huge volume. So maybe they were trying to shorten it for whatever reason. And they came out with Think and Grow Rich. And that became very, very popularized. You know, in 2005, 2006, there's a, there's a, there was a DVD that came out. And it was called The Secret. I don't know if you guys remember it. A book came out with it. I think the book came out first. And it became very pop, popular. And then they made a, a DVD. And the in, in the movie and in the book, The Secret... A law was described, a law, a universal law that basically is how life worked. That law is how life worked, right? And that law was the law of attraction. Basically, your thoughts, your feelings will determine what type of life you're going, you're going to have. You know, if you're always feeling bad, you're feeling negative, you're depressed, you're negative, whatever, you will experience that in your life. You attract it to your life. Your emotions, your thoughts are like this beam being thrown out to the universe or to God. And God gives you that back because it's like you're asking for it. That's why asking it is given. It's a big spiritual phrase and it's talked about almost in every religious text, you know, in the biblical text it talks about you have not because you ask not so you ask it and the way you ask it is by prayer another thing for prayer is thoughts or feelings you put it out comes back you reap what you sow what goes around comes around karma in, in, in many other countries or religious or spiritual beliefs they call it um, and it's and the love and, and in the secret the book and the movie they talk about it and they call it the law of attraction. So it's a law. It's a law that, that allows you to attract things in your life, things that you want. And it teaches you so, sort of the basics on how to make it work for you. Basically, you know, think about what you want, feel good, and you will attract that. But here's the, the, the key. You have to feel good. You not only have to think it, but you have to feel it. You have to feel it. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like or comment on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.